in today's video, we are going to go over the most important part of the actual hair service, and that is the shampoo. Now, when we are getting our client ready, we're always making sure we're touching them with a very gentle touch. We always drape the client with a towel. We make sure we are collecting all of the hair and we're going to adjust the shampoo bowl and guide the client back with our hands making sure that before we even start, they are so comfortable and ready to experience the most favorite part of the salon visit. Whenever we are actually doing the shampoo, we always check the temperature on our wrists. The wrist is a very sensitive area and you can get an accurate temperature check on this part. Now, when we are actually doing a shampoo, one of the things that I feel stylists don't do properly is they don't saturate the hair enough when they are doing the shampoo. Before you even shampoo, you wanna make sure to thoroughly rinse the hair and you wanna make sure that everything is completely wet. Trying to apply shampoo onto dry hair is not a luxurious experience. So we wanna make sure that we are completely saturating the hair. When we are shampooing, we're making sure we are turning the nozzle away from the face. This is going to ensure that we don't splash any water on the client's skin or on their face or in their eyes. And we're also guiding the client's head with our hands. We're lifting their head up to actually rinse and get underneath by their neckline. When applying the shampoo, you wanna make sure that it's evenly distributed on the head and the shampoo should be a massage experience. Having good hand pressure is so important. Making sure we're using the pads of our fingertips and we're actually going in circular motions and doing a thorough job, actually hitting every point of the client's head. You want to hit the top of their head, their temples. You want to make sure that you hit the crown area and you want to make sure that you are evenly distributing the actual product throughout the hair. Making sure we're lifting up the client's head to get their neckline. This is the one area, especially with color services that is forgotten and that is most um, left out. So we want to make sure we hit that area really well. Also making sure that we are cleansing the ends. The actual shampoo experience should be anywhere from five to seven minutes. No longer than seven minutes, no less than five minutes. Again, I'm making sure to hit that underneath of the head. Make sure that we really massage this area very well. Now we are always are gonna do two shampoos when it comes to either doing a haircut or it comes to doing a color service. Two shampoos will ensure that the hair is thoroughly cleansed and that the client gets a full experience from our salon. Again, the first shampoo should be just as good as the second one. We are giving an amazing massage. We're using amazing pressure, not too light, not too hard. And we are thoroughly cleansing all of the areas of the scalp. The number one areas that are missed are the nape, which I'm hitting now, and the top of the crown. So we wanna get behind the ears, making sure we're doing a great job scrubbing. And before we apply our conditioner, we're gonna make sure that we rinse all of the shampoo out of the hair. One of an, uh, the other things that definitely drives me a little bonkers is when my staff is doing shampoos and they're not rinsing all of the shampoo out. You gotta make sure you rinse out all the shampoo so that way the hair can thoroughly absorb the conditioner you're placing on the client's hair, of course.
Now, when you're applying the conditioner, again, this is another opportunity to give our clients an amazing, luxurious experience. We are massaging the scalp. We are thoroughly pulling the product through the ends. We are using our fingertips and using circular motions to make sure that we are giving a great massage. When you are massaging the scalp, you wanna make sure that the hair isn't getting too tangling or pulling because that obviously will lead to an uncomfortable experience for our guest. But we make sure that we thoroughly massage the head, that we're hitting the neck and we're really massaging that area. Again, making sure that we are doing our best at creating an experience for the guest. And of course, you wanna make sure that you thoroughly rinse all of the conditioner out of the hair from all areas. So places that you really need to check when rinsing conditioner and rinsing color is you wanna make sure that you get on the sides of the ears. You wanna make sure that you get in the neck area and you wanna make sure that you rinse through out the entire crown area, leaving, an, leaving any color or conditioner in the hair will lead to having to redo the shampoo service. So we wanna make sure that we are due diligently making sure that we are rinsing everything thoroughly and that we are scrubbing the scalp and creating a massage experience when we're rinsing. Once we feel that everything is rinsed out of the hair, you wanna give a good, nice squeeze. Now remember, gentle squeeze. So many stylists squeeze too hard and it can cause pain. Of course, each client is going to have a different um, scalp sensitivity, so asking the, the guest before you start this process. And even when I am drying the hair and applying the towel, you'll see that I'm actually still using this opportunity to hit the pressure points and massaging the client's scalp because again, this adds to the experience. I am thoroughly drying the hair because there's nothing worse than having water dripping all over the guest. And then I'm gonna lightly move the guest's head up and we're going to do our towel bun. And this is gonna make sure that the client does not drip from the shampoo poo bowl to your station. And this also enhances the experience because it's just so darn cute and we love it. Now I'm gonna do a little squeeze here to make sure it's got all the water. We're gonna make sure that we clean up the client's hairline, especially if they have color. We're gonna make sure they have no water in their ears. And then we are going to walk them back to our station.